Hello everyone. In this session, I will share with you how to use the power theory method to solve the ordinary first order ordinary differential equation. First of all, what is power theory method? The power theory method is the standard method for the solving linear ordinary differential equation with variable coefficients. It gives solutions in the form of power series. This series can be used for computing values, graphic curve, proving formulas, and exploring properties of solution. If you look at here, power series in power of x minus x naught is an infinite series of the form, okay, summation of m from m equal to 0 to infinity, a m x minus x naught power of m. So the m is starting from 0. If we substitute the value m equal to 0, here would be a 0. Okay, this one also uh, a power of 0. Then when m equal to 1, here you will have a 1, which is this one, x minus x naught power of 1, you will get this one. And then when m equal to 2, so a 2 x minus x naught power of 2, then until infinity. So this x is a variable. And then a naught, a 1, and a 2 are the constant call the coefficients of the series. Whereas x0 is a constant to call the center of series. So in particular, if x0 equals 0, we will obtain a power series in power of x. Okay, so again, summation a m x power of m equal to a0 plus a1 x plus a2 square plus a3 power of 3. This one, if the x0 is referred to 0, is equal to 0. And in power theory, we assume all the variables and constant are real. After you know what is power theory method, we shall go to the um, example. So in this session, I will use only uh, the method of without using recurrent relation to solve the power series method, to solve the ordinary differential equation. Okay, example 1.10, solve the y prime equal to 2xy by power series method. So in power series, you know that you have the you have the uh, formula y x equal to summation from m equal to zero infinity a m x power of m. Okay, this will result in a when m equal to zero you get a zero and when and then x power 0, and then a1, x power of 1, plus a2, x power of 2, plus a3, x power of 3, and so on. So the first step, you've got to find y prime. Okay, y prime equal to the summation from m equal to 0 to infinity m a m x m minus 1 okay you differentiate the y x so you got y prime x so you're here you substitute the value of m equal to 0 When m equals 0, you get all 0. Okay. And then start with m equal to 1. So m equal to 1, you have uh, a1. 
plus plus when m equal to 2 you have a uh, 2 a2 x power of uh, power of 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so 2 power of 1 plus when m equal to 3 so you have 3 a power a3 x uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 so x power of 2 plus 4 a 4 x power of 3 okay so when I, and, and we can actually summarize it or we can simplify it into it start with m equal to 1 right to infinity where m equal to 0 you won't get any answer so we simplify from into a m equal to 1 to infinity m a m x m minus 1 instead of we start the m equal to 1 instead of m equal to 0 and then step 2 you substitute into differential equation in which y prime equal to 2xy okay so y prime you have uh, a1 plus 2a2 x plus 3a3 x power of 2 plus 4a4 x power of 3 dot 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 equal to 2xy so 2xy y is referred to the question given this one is the y alright so a0 plus a1x plus a2 x power of 2 plus a3 x power of 3 plus dot 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 okay so when you multiply in you will get you all multiply in you get uh, 2 a not x plus a1 x power of 2 plus a um, 2 x power of 3 and then plus a 3 x power of 4 dot 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 now step 3 compare the x coefficient Alright, if I compare the x power of 0, you will get, okay, which one is x power of 0? This one is x power of 0. Okay, so a1 is equal to 0 because right hand side nothing. And then you compare with a power of 1. This one is a power of 1 and the right hand side is um, this one. So 2a2 equal to 2a0. So a2 equal to a0 if you simplify. Next you compare x power of 2. x power of 2 is this one and this one. So you have 3a3 equal to 2a1. So a3 equal to 2a1. a1 is 0, so absolutely you will get 0. And then you compare for x power of 4. Okay, sorry. x power of 3. Four a four this one and then compare with two a two so a four 
equal to 2a2 divided by 4, you get half. So a2 divided by 2. a2 is equal to a0. So it's equal to half of the a0. And then you compare x power 4. So x power 4. If you continue this part, you will have 5a5 equal to 2a3. Okay? So this one you can continue with 5a5 x power of 4. So then a5 is equal to where a 2a3. a3 is equal to 0, so it remains 0. Okay, now you get all the x coefficient. You can sum it. y equal to a1 plus a1x plus a2x power 2 plus a3 x power of 3 plus a4 x power of 4 plus a5 x power of 5 plus a6 x power of 6 da, 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 so on so ah sorry this one is a0 so a0 we don't have right so remain a0 plus a1, 0, x, plus a2 is a0, plus a3 is 0, plus a4 is half of the a0, a5 is 0. Okay. Now you can simplify. a0, so this one don't have this one don't need, also this one don't need. So a0, you have 1 plus x power of 2 plus x power of 4 over 2 Okay, still have the a power of a6, x power of 6. If you do a6, x power of 6, what do you get? For the a6, x power 6, I will simply get 1 over 6, a not x power of 6. So this one, I will plus with 1 over 6, x power of 6. When we rewrite, we, are, we can get a0, and then 1 over 2, we can uh, change to a form of 1 over 2 factorial. Okay, this means that 1 over 2 1 over 2 factorial is equal to 1 over 2 times 1. If you have 1 over 3 factorial, this means we have uh, 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, this is mean. So now we can uh, simplify like 1 plus x power of 2 plus 1 over 2 factorial x power of 4 plus 1 over 3 factorial x power of 6. Okay. Also, we can change this form. We simplify it. Okay, there is a, another power series. is x power of x equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 factorial plus x power of 2, 2 factorial plus x power of 3 over 3 factorial. If you have exponent x power of 2, which is equal to 1 plus 
x power of 2 divided by 1 factorial plus x power of 4 divided by 2 factorial plus x power of 6 divided by 3 factorial. So this one, we can change it to a0 exponent. If you refer to this table, we have uh, x exponent x power of 2. Yes. And this series we call it, this series we call it Mercurian series. Okay, do you understand now? This example, how to solve using the power series method. Okay. Now we go to another example. Solve the following initial value problem by power series method. Y prime plus exponent y uh, exponent x y equal to x power of two, and then uh, initial condition is where x equal zero, y equal to four. So in order to solve this question, first of all we need to find the y prime from the y given. No. So y equal to summation m equal to 0 infinity cm x power of m. So this will equivalent to c0 plus c1x plus c2x power of 2 plus c3x power of 3 plus c4x power of 4 and so on. This one, you just substitute the value of m equal to simply 1, uh, m equal to 0, okay, and m equal to 1, m equal to 2, m equal to 3, m equal to 4. Okay, what else? If you look at this one, we need the y prime. So y prime equal to summation m equal to 1 to infinity m cm x m minus 1. So when m equal to 1, so you have uh, c1, 1 c1, and then x power 0 plus when m equal to 2, so you have 2 c2 x, and when m equal to 3, you have 3 c3 x power 2 plus 4 c4 x power 3 plus 5 c5 x power 4 and so on. Then step two, substitute into differential equation. So y prime plus exponent x y equal to x power of 2. So we substitute, all right? c1 plus 2c2x plus 3c3x power of 2 plus 4c4x power of 3 plus 5c5x power of 4. And then plus with exponent x. You know what is exponent x? Just now I've mentioned to you exponent x is this one. This is the Mercurian series. Exponent x is referred to this one, so we substitute in 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x power of 2, 2 factorial plus x power of 3, 3 factorial. And then multiply with the y. Y, we have this one. So c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x power 2 plus c3 x power 3 plus c4 x power 4 and so on and equivalent to x power 2 okay then next We multiply in each one, this one, multiply with the whole thing, and then plus with this one, multiply with the whole thing, then plus with this one, 
multiply with the whole thing. Okay, so let's do it now. I copy back uh, from the top. So this is the y prime plus 5c5 five five x power 4 and then plus with this one the 1 multiply with the whole thing so you get the whole the whole equation here so c0 plus c1x plus c2x power 2 plus c3x power 3 plus c4 x power 4 and then finish right dot, 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 then plus with okay the x this one multiply with the whole thing so you got c0 x divide by 1 factorial plus c1 x power 2 1 factorial plus c2 x power of 3 1 divided by 1 factorial plus c3 x power of 4 divided by 1 factorial plus c4 x power of 5 divided by 1 factorial plus c0 x power of 2 2 factorial now i'm going to the second part right okay x power of 2 divided by 2 factorial plus c1 x power of 3 divided by 2 factorial plus c2 x power of 4 divided by 2 factorial plus c3 x power of 5 divided by 2 factorial okay now i change to this one the third one so c3 is c not x power 3 divided by 3 factorial plus c1 x power 4 divided by 3 factorial plus c2 x power 5 divided by 3 factorial and equivalent to x power of 2 okay now step number 3 equating the coefficient So I equating the x power 0. When I equating x power of 0, I have c1 and then plus you c0. So c1 plus c0 equal to 0. c1 is equal to negative c0. Okay. And then x power of 1 you get 2c2 plus c1 and then what else okay and then uh, c0 divided by 1 so you have 2c2 plus c1 and then plus with c0 equal to 0. Okay, so you'll get c2 here. So c2 equal to negative c1. You bring the c1 to the right. And then minus with c0 divided by 2. So c1, you get negative c0. Negative c0. Minus c0 divide by 2. So plus c0 minus c0 you get 0. Okay. Now you're equating the x power of 2. Okay for x power of 2 you have this one. Also this one. And this one as well. This one too. Okay. So now you have 3C3 plus C2 
plus C1 plus C0 divided by 2 factorial equal to equal to what? Okay, here you have value 1. Okay, 3 plus C0 plus C, C0 uh, C1 divided by 1 factorial and plus with C0 x power uh, C0 divided by 2 factorial. That is what I written here equal to 1. So 3C0, C2 is 0, C1 is negative uh, C0. Plus with C0 divided by 2 factorial equal to 1. Okay, class, do you still remember we have the initial condition value? The initial condition value is y0 equal to 4. This means that when x equal to 0, y equal to 4. As you know, the initial condition, we actually can uh, substitute the, in the initial condition and find the C0 value and directly can substitute in the equation. Okay, now let's try for the initial condition. y0 equal to 4. Okay, we substitute into the y. Okay, in which the y we have is um, this one. Okay. C0 plus C1x plus C2x power 2 plus C3x power 3 plus C4x power 4. And then when y equal to, when x equal to 0, y equal to 4 y equal to 4, c z where x equal to 0. So this one, you get 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So c0 is equal to 4. So c0 equal to 4, actually, we can substitute in the, uh, when equating the coefficient. So now, c1 equal to negative c0. This one is equal to negative 4 because c0 is 4. What about this one? We also can substitute in the value of c0. So now we have this one 0. So 3, okay, I put it down here. 3c3 plus also minus 4 plus 4 over 2 equal to 1. So C3 equal to this one, cancel out, you get 2 only. So minus 2, minus 4 plus 2, you get negative 2, negative 2. So bring to the right hand side. So 1, Divided by 3. So C3 equal to 1. Okay, after you find x power of 2, you can find x power of 3. x power of 3 is just simply this one. And also this one. This one also. And this one. Okay, so 4... 4 plus C3 uh, plus with C2 and plus with C1 over X2 uh, factorial and then plus with C0 over 3 factorial. Okay, we write it here. C4, C4 plus C3 plus C2 plus C1 over 2 factorial plus c naught over 3 factorial equal to 0.
okay substitute the value of c3 equal to 1 c2 equal to 0 c1 equal to 4 so 3 factorial equal to 6 because 3 times 2 times 1 equal to 6 so you have 4 c4 equal to 2 minus 2 over 3 minus 1 this one is 2 over 3 So, it's 2. so 2 minus 2 over 3 minus 1. C4 equivalent to 1 over 3. Okay. Um, multiply with 1 over 4. You bring the 4 to the right hand side. So you get 1 over 12. So this is C4 value. So at the end, y equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x2 plus c3x power 3 plus c4x power 4. So you must substitute in the value c4, c0 equal to 4, c1 is uh, you get negative 4x plus c2 you get mm, zero okay nothing so c3 you get one so you have x power of three and c4 is one over twelve okay so this is the answer dot 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 that means it's continued okay class so that's all and hope you can understand if you like my video you can like my youtube video thank you very much and enjoy your watching